First, Gorsh Falk. Second, Darper Mozart. Third, Christian Radic. Fourth, Libertad. Fifth, Mike Gorman has a microphone on top of our van. Hold it up there, Mike. Okay, Salty. Uh, we can see her now. She's starting to come in, and she'll be coming around the corner. And it's just amazing how much that mass you can see and how tall she actually is. This is the Libertad. She'll be the first one in. Maybe in the background you heard the 21-gun salute from uh, Fort Adams. And she's coming around the corner, and it is uh, really a sight to see. It's a spectacle. Tall ships, tall ships, tall welcome ships, to the ocean stay. From WPRO. With visitors from around the world in Newport, we had the rare opportunity to let Southern New England know exactly how people from other lands feel about America. Hi, how are you? That was the wrong question. Now, uh, see, you you only uh, you speak Spanish, Espanol. Would you, in Spanish, tell us about your trip? <laughs> no. Viajo. Viajo in Spanish. I told you this was going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. El viaje ha sido muy bueno. Very good trip. Uh, does he like it here? Este viaje ha sido muy bueno. El mar ha estado bastante tranquilo y hemos tenido una navegación muy buena. Ah, what did he say? Yeah. He, he liked it. He liked it here. <laughs> <laughs> Ask, ask him if he likes the American girls. Le donne americana. La chica. Ah, las chicas americanas para mí son lo máximo. Muy buena. Ah, Max. What is your name? Bjorn Chesson. Bjorn, what is your home? My home? Yes. Stavanger. Stavanger? Yeah. I think I've been there. Oh. <laughs> Why, you laugh. I have been to Norway, and I yeah. love it. It's a beautiful country. Up the fjords. Yeah. Just delightful there. Yeah. And, uh... I'd like you to tell them, uh, in Norwegian now, a little something about yourself and about your trip here from Bermuda. Um, uh, oh, these they folks are, are from two. Germany. Oh, oh, oh. They're aboard the Walrus 3, and uh, that's Class B here in Newport. And your name is? Wilfred Wittstock. Wilfred, right? Yes, yes. All right, your name? My name is Opa. Opa? And people there were. Eric Gentle of the Governor's Coordination Committee gives the picture. Uh, we've estimated that today in the downtown Newport area there have been between 95 and 98,000 people. We were terribly impressed yesterday, uh, and I, I will end it right to what Jimmy Anderson said and uh, Captain Thompson. We've this is Captain Al Berger of the Christian Rat. This uh, coming in to Newport uh, in all these years, in North Gothenburg, where we had 2,000 boats, I think. That's right. Uh, we, we could walk on the water. WPRO didn't confine its coverage to dry land. Thanks to the Yankee, Pro's 72-foot gaff rig fishing scooter, we were able to go on the air via ship-to-shore telephone and actually tape aboard many of these spectacular vessels. With Coast Guard permission, we even boarded the controversial Chilean vessel, Esmeralda, and spoke to the crew. Que todos nosotros, los chilenos que hemos visitado Newport, estamos muy contentos. I said that uh, they're having a very happy time in Newport. They like the people very much. They've met in many families and been invited into homes. Uh, they, they find the people here uh, very friendly, very helpful. Uh, he feels that they, uh, that they like the Chilean crew here. And, He's having a good time. He'd like to thank all the people here for uh, for the uh, warm uh, reception they, they've been giving here. WPRO staff was the only press invited aboard the largest tall ship in the fleet, the Russian Krujan Stern. In fact, Salty Brian made quite a hit. You think very well, and uh, we have a very beautiful time for this. <laughs> well, that's great. Yes, thank we you very much. enjoy the opportunity of being with you. We even brought our listeners an audio tour of this magnificent Russian sailing machine. Our vessel was built as a special cargo vessel in 1926 for races between South America and Australia. On Wednesday, June 30th, WPRO broadcast the official review of Tall Ships. Harold and Tom Fritz's son, you just came on board the America by way of a coast guard. Mike Gorman did his reports from the Yankee. Meanwhile, Jimmy Gray and Gary DeGrade were at Broadcast Center dockside in Newport. The crowd here is uh, very big. It's all milling about 
uh, the limousine and people are now standing in line and uh, shaking hands with uh, Governor Noel, who's uh, meeting with some of the folks as he's part of that uh, uh, list of dignitaries that'll be out there on the official reviewing. We are uh, frantically trying to get a hold of the governor to come on over here and say a few words uh, to uh, Gary DeGrade, who has uh, the microphone ready for him. I, I don't want to interrupt at this time, Jen, because there's two nice little girls standing next to the governor. I'm sure they waited in line for a little while to get this, uh, this autograph. Welcome to Newport, Governor. What's your, your basic impression? Well, we're thrilled by the way it's uh, come together. We're very grateful for the uh, outstanding help we've had from the state and city agencies. I think they've all done an outstanding job to make this work because we have, you know, enormous numbers of people who are coming through. And uh, we I'm, no I'm pleased that... Uh, it's been able to go so well. Thank you very much, Governor, for coming on down, and we appreciate your sharing your voice on our microphone. Covering the event. Well, our pleasure, Governor. In case you missed what the Governor said, his last words were, thank you for covering our event. Upon return from the review, Rhode Island's Governor Noel had some thoughts about the all-girl crew of the Sir Winston Churchill. Oh, they were delightful. They changed uniforms at least three times since we've been here. <laughs> the Winston Churchill girls had some thoughts about their stay here and chose WPRO to tell their new American friends. I'm Mr. Stewart. I'm the chairman of the committee that runs the Sir Winston Churchill. Now, you have a, you have a message for us from, from the people, from the crew of the Sir Winston Churchill. What, what is that? Uh, yes, it's from the girls first. Uh, they would like to thank all the people of Newport and the surrounding districts for the tremendous hospitality that they've been shown. Thank you very much on their behalf. Newport, Rhode Island, tall ships riding the WPRO. As we mentioned earlier, WPRO became a significant part of all of the week's events, and this really came through the last day. The Coast Guard and Tall Ships Committee used PRO to tell Rhode Island that the parade of sail, expected to draw 100,000 people, had to be postponed for three hours due to fog. At 5 a.m., the Tall Ships Committee had a liaison waiting at our booth for Salty, with a message to see the Coast Guard immediately. The Coast Guard commander had exclusive news for PRO listeners. As of right now, as you can see, the visibility is zero. The uh, sortie, as originally planned, I have postponed. I'm attempting to uh, see if we can get all the concurrence of all the masters of the Class A vessels to postpone the uh, sortie for approximately six hours. I have a uh, weather forecast that indicates that the visibility will probably be clearing up between 11 and 12. And with all the interest in this magnificent spectacle, we felt that this was an effort that we could make on behalf of the public to see if we can get it postponed rather than canceled completely. It was like a storm day in Rhode Island. WPRO went all news with just about every marina, sightseeing operation, the state, the tall ships committee, the police, and the Coast Guard changing their plans and making sure Rhode Island learned about it exclusively on WPRO. As Rhode Islanders became aware of the change, people that thought they had missed the parade of sail crammed into cars and headed for Newport, causing massive traffic problems. We're going to close the Jamestown Bridge for eastbound traffic. The westbound traffic will be going two lanes to relieve the congestion in the Jamestown area. We again advise all motorists leaving the Newport area to take Route 24 or the Mount Hope Bridge to help us out. As the day wore on, Pro was there, reporting the spectacular conclusion. The parade of tall ships out of Newport from a number of vantage points. Let's slip on out to the Yankee now and talk with Mike Gorman. Mike? Okay, thank you, Larry. Uh, still not much to report as far as the actual parade goes. We do have some reports that they're making the turn, and we'll be coming back under the bridge soon. Uh, we're right off Shamrock Cliffs right now, so hello to Gary DeGrade and Salty and all the people that are out there, because we can just see the tremendous crowd, and we hope uh, they're listening out there that they can be Between uh, the spot where we're located, Larry, and uh, the water, there must be 5,000 altogether between here and the shoreline up to, uh, and including Fort Adams, uh, the Hammersmith Farm. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful sight here today, and everybody's anxiously awaiting, of course, to be as good as they're not. Uh, we've had people here with high-powered binoculars telling us... Did it all work? Governor Noel thinks so. To Mr. Richard Rakavan, Vice President and General Manager, WPRO. Dear Dick, I would like to thank you for the public service that WPRO provided the state of Rhode Island in the broadcasting of traffic information during the Tall Ships Week. 
the cooperation of the federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies, as well as the assistance provided by your station, contributed greatly to the success of the traffic management program and the tall ship celebration. I know that your personnel work long, hard hours, and they're to be congratulated for a job well done. Thank you again for your efforts. Sincerely, Philip W. Noel, Governor. The Tall Ships in Newport, the biggest single event in the bicentennial year, and WPRO was right there in the middle of it all. Everything we do is for you. WPRO.